Warning, I, Dan Lanks, am going to completely blow your mind during this Minecraft video. So if you enjoy console Minecraft, hit that like button and subscribe for more block placing awesomeness. Yo, what's up guys, it's Dan Lanks, and today I'm going to be starting a new series called Furnishing Tutorials. And for this series, I'm just going to go ahead and pick a house that has not been furnished at all. And I'm just going to go ahead and to give you guys tutorials on how to furnish the interior. It's pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory, and I'm going to get started. So today's episode is going to be a how to furnish a master bedroom or just a regular bedroom in general, depending on what you have. And so I'm going to be furnishing this big room right here. This is the master bedroom of this house. So I'm going to go ahead and start furnishing it. So first thing you're going to want to do is get some lighting, obviously. So I'm going to go ahead and get some glowstone, some trap doors, and some oak leaf blocks. And I'm going to go ahead and just put some glowstone in the corner, place some trap doors on the sides, and just uh, line it up to the ceiling with oak leaf blocks. That way it gives a nice bushy effect, which always looks good. And then we can also add some lighting. So that looks good right there in each corner. And this is not a symmetrical uh, doorway, but that's totally fine. It doesn't matter. We can come over here now. And this big window here is going to be where the, uh, the mount of the bed is going to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and place some birch wood stairs on each side of this window kind of like this and obviously you can you can mirror this on like a wall in your house or whatever and then i'm going to go ahead and place a regular stair in the middle so we got two side stairs and then one stair in the middle then i'm going to follow that up by adding another stair like this so as if you were actually walking up a staircase you know, you know what i'm saying and then we have this one in the middle so now i'm going to go ahead and get out some snow blocks and then these like little snow mats as well I'm going to place some snow like this, and then I'm going to take some, some of the snow mats and put them on top like that. Then I'm going to go ahead and take out some white wool. Sorry I didn't have all this stuff out right away. It's just not enough space in the inventory. So I'm going to just line that all up with white wool again. So this is going to be a three block wide bed, and it's probably going to be four or five blocks long. So we're going to go ahead and just take some cyan wool. Yeah, so it's going to be a three by five uh, bed, bed design right here. So we got a 3x3 three three of cyan and then a, sh a line of white wool and then a line of snow with little snow mats on top. So that kind of looks like a bed, very realistic looking. And we're going to go ahead and take these birch wood slabs and just line it along the edge of the bed from this last stair block on the ground. And this is basically just like the mount for the bed, what I'm doing right now. I'm going to go ahead and place some stairs on each side off the end of the bed like this. Then I'm going to go ahead and take some bookshelves and line them right there. Take some pressure plates and put them on top of the bookshelves. And you can actually just close these. I, I just had this chandelier design in the room. This is, you obviously won't have this in your house. But uh, we got some birch wood slabs, and I'm going to place them on top of the stairs to kind of make like that, like a C shape right here and like a backward C here. Do the same thing over here, like this. Then I'm going to take some birch wood blocks and place them in front of the window, the two windows here, like that. And just to kind of give it that cool effect. Now I'm going to go ahead and take out some more of the uh where, are the where am i looking for right now oh yes 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 brewing stands and i'm just gonna place them right here and right here doesn't really matter what you put here it's just it this is basically just like decoration for a table so i'm just gonna go ahead and like do this maybe and maybe here i'll put a, a torch or something it doesn't really matter what you place on these on these tables it's, it's just for decoration and i'm gonna put some item frames i'm pretty sure are disabled in this world yes they are so so what we're gonna so you can obviously place some item frames here and then put like a but, a button on them so it looks like a cabinet. Maybe I'll just like refresh the world or something like that later and fix that. So that looks pretty cool. Nice little bed design. And if you don't like this lighting defect right here, what you can do is just simply replace that with a um, you know what I mean, a birch wood slab. Or you can even if you even like if you do like lighting defects, you can actually replace this with glowstone like that. And adds a really nice lighting defect at nighttime. So we'll leave it like that for now. But yeah, that's just like the design that you can use. Uh, next thing you want to do is now that we have this nice bed out of the way, what you want, what you to do is I'm gonna go ahead and place some more glowstone in these corners over here and here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add some more shrubbery just to light. And first of all, it lights up the room. Second of all, it it adds a nice little coloring effect. So we're gonna go ahead and just take these oak wood, oak leaf of leaf blocks and just line them all the way up so now we have this like nice perimeter of bushes next i'm gonna do i'm gonna add a desk in this area right here so i'm gonna go ahead and continue the birchwood theme so i'm just all along this window i'm just gonna line it with with uh with birchwood blocks then i'm gonna take a spruce wood slab and place it right here i'm gonna take a wooden door and place it behind the slab and then i'm gonna take two signs and put them on the side like this so now we have a nice grand uh desk desk chair i guess you could say 
And then I'm going to take some brewing stands. We'll clear my inventory real quick. Take some brewing stands. Place it right here. And then what you can do is you can actually place a glowstone block on top of the brewing stand like this. And then you can go ahead and get out some trapdoors. And just line the whole thing with trapdoors. And then you can even take a... This, you don't have to do this, but you can take a spruce wood slab and then place it on top of the glowstone. So that adds like a little nice little lamp or something like that. Then we can go ahead and take a pressure plate, place it right here, and then we can take a redstone repeater and place it right here. So obviously put that back. And you can do whatever you want with this. And trapdoors are annoying, but yeah, you can. That's, that's kind of like a joystick, and this is like the mouse pad. Then you can take a uh, redstone rail, if I can find one. Yeah, powered rail, and you can go and place it right there, and that's like the keyboard. I can't place pictures in this world, but you would basically what you would do is just place a picture right on this glass block, just a one by one, or just like a one block picture, and it'll make like the laptop screen, which will look really cool. And then over here, you can just add whatever you want on this last space. It, it doesn't really matter to me. So that's kind of like the desk area for the laptop. Right here, I'm gonna go ahead and add some. Um, dressers and stuff like that so I'm just gonna line up three with um, like this kind of like that so we got two dressers along this wall you can go ahead and take uh, it doesn't really matter what you put on the sides but I'm gonna go ahead and take some birch wood slabs and place them up here like this and preferably you would put uh, on these stair blocks you would go ahead and place um, item frames which I can't do but I will cut the video at the end to show you what it does look like with item frames on it and then what you can do is even um, on the sides, you, you can add um, trapdoors if you have space. Obviously, I don't have space for that, but you can add trapdoors if you want. That looks fine. Over here, I'm going to add a TV area. So I'm just going to take some black wool and just get it all centered on the wall like this. Get a nice, nice big widescreen TV. I'm going to go ahead and place some snow blocks on top as like a little trim. And of course, we have to wait for an autosave. Typical, right? Great timing right there. So, I guess I'll just skip through the autosave. Okay, we're back from the autosave. Sorry about that, guys. It's great, great uh, Minecraft timing right there. So, We're going to continue. I'm going to place some spruce wood stairs on each side of the last black wool block like this. Then I'm just going to go ahead and take some, uh, some stairs and just line it like that. Just give it like a little mount for the TV. Then what you can do is I'm going to match the... Um, the bed cover with a nice little chair or something like that so i'm just gonna make like a little sofa thing right here and uh you know what that's not even gonna work it's not enough space for that so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna add a little chair so i'll just take a maybe let's try some sandstone just place a sandstone block right here i know that's like right on top of the tv but that's okay because this guy is gonna have some serious eye strain he's sitting right on top of the tv playing his minecraft so check that out that looks pretty cool um, to finish off the room, I'm going to go ahead and add some bookshelves, like right here and right here. So now we have this nice TV space. Uh, we got a bed, we got a desk, we got some dressers, bookshelves. So that's basically how you want to furnish a master bedroom right there, guys. Um, guys, hit that like button if you did enjoy this. And if you want me to do other rooms, like you, you can leave in the comments what rooms you want me to furnish and I will... I'll show you guys how to do that and what some of the techniques I use for furnishing. So that's my master bedroom design. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section. I will be happy if you guys leave me a like, and that would be awesome. And I might even add a couple more uh, bookshelves, like right here, just to add a little bit more color to the room. There we go. So, yeah, guys, that's that's basically my master bedroom design. Hope you guys like it, and I uh, hope you guys got some ideas from this. So that's it, guys. I will see you guys on the next one. I'm Dan Lags, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace out. Okay, guys, we're back real quick. Sorry, I forgot to show you guys what it looks like with the um, item frames on it. So I, I went ahead and restarted the world so I could place item frames again. And I added some item frames with some trapdoors on these, and that's like the dresser. So that looks pretty nice. I added a picture right here on this wall. Um, I added... A item frames. So I replaced the signs with item frames on this one, and then I placed uh, buttons on each one on one of the ends. I placed, I put some item frames on these cabinets to kind of look like cabinet doors. And I did that on both sides, and then I took an, uh, a picture and put it on this laptop. So now it actually is fully finished. So it looks like a laptop now. So that's it, guys. That's what I added. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it again, and now you guys are free to go. So uh, make sure you hit that like button if you did enjoy it, and also leave comments letting me know what room you want me to do next, and if you like the series, and that would be awesome. So I'd, I'll be jumping on my bed in the meantime, so I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'm Dan Lags, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace out.